Hi, let me start by telling you a story about Jack and Jill who wanted to go up the hill to give their grandmother the apples that were growing in their garden. The first day, Jack and Jill piled up the apples in a wooden cart and started up the hill. Halfway through, they understood that it was too heavy for them to carry it up all the way to the hill. So, they dropped the plan and the next day, they tried an alternative. They packed the apples in a, 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 a cloth bag and started up the hill. And halfway through, the cloth bag tore and the apples were down the hill, going down the hill. So, Jack got a bit frustrated. And the next day, he tried wrapping the apples in paper and halfway up the hill, there was rain. The paper got soaked and it tore. The apples again were going down the hill. So Jack was very furious. He cried out, is there no solution to make my day easy? Yes, there was a solution. Plastic. So the next day, he packed his apples in a plastic bag and climbed up the hill. This time, they surely reached the top of the hill and had a great apple pie with their grandmother. Well, plastic is a polymer. And what is a polymer? It is a long chain compound that is made up of a basic unit. Just see this person over here. If he is attached to a number of strings of himself, then this is his polymer. There are other polymers like this out there where random people join hands. Well, plastic has changed the face, pace, and ease of the world. Well, but now, Jack and Jill are in fear of having cancer. There are no more apples they can take up the hill, because there is no more garden. Common people tend to use plastic for its durability, moldability, and lightweightness. But how do they destroy it? Most common people burn it or either bury it underground. But, uh, burning plastic would release a lot of toxins that would persist in the earth's surface. And some of them are proven to be carcinogenic. Well, burying plastic would just kill the ecology of the soil. So, let me end with a note that let us not just look at the smaller picture of convenience and ease of today, but about the healthier, cleaner and beautiful world for tomorrow. I hope I have opened up your eyes. Thank you. How will you convince his five-year-old yeah. into not using plastic, because it, which is what he would ultimately use because of its durability, its ease of application? Yes. Um, for a five-year-old, you should actually, uh, I haven't actually thought of it, but let me come up with an answer. Um, it is actually going to affect his future. I, I, would, I would actually tell him that in future, this thing that is going to give you ease and pace for your life is actually going to come and bite you. I would just quote the example of Jurassic Park, where out of their fascination and um, everything, they make dinosaurs, and finally, you know, at a stage where it goes out of your hand, it comes back and bites you. So that's, that's the example I would quote. Uh, of course, this is a problem and it is known to be a problem for quite some time. Yeah. But I'm sure very intelligent people like you are doing a lot of research in this. Do you have any information about that? Yeah, uh, there have been recent researchers to uh, make biodegradable plastic. But so far, scientists haven't come to the point yet that it can stay as durable as plastic. So I think they are facing it. There have been certain plastics like polylactic acids, but you know, they tend to degrade in presence of moisture. So there are studies going on to modify this to the point that it can be durable like plastic, but it sort of biodegrades after its use. Do you know that you can actually buy in Trivandrum in any of the major shops, biodegradable plastic bags? No, uh, actually, but there are, you can buy a biodegradable plastic in a mini level because you are actually, when you're eating a pill, you're actually eating biodegradable plastic. The coat on the pill is actually a biodegradable plastic. So, uh, I came across an article in one of the 
magazines yeah. uh, about how now uh, I don't remember, so maybe I will ask you. Some companies or some researchers have found out that they can actually these water bottles they can be converted into strands and from which you can make wearable jeans. So for them, plastic is a very good business now because you can just, instead of dumping these empty water bottles, they just collect it together, sort it out, give it to some place and then from that, cotton threads are made which are actually used to make wearable jeans. So for them, actually, plastic is very good. So Yeah, I would like to add a point to that because uh, what they are actually doing is they are recycling plastic at this point. But just think, after the use of the jeans, of that jeans, what are they going to do? Probably burn it. Just making the same sense like uh, polluting the air. So there is a limit to the uh, recycling that you can do to a plastic. Ultimately, it is going to persist and look at you at your face as a big problem. So that's what I understand from my point of view. Okay. Thank you.